Breaking news stories from overnight. The first out of Howard County, Maryland, a huge mansion. A fire triggered a massive response. Right now, one firefighter is hurt and in the hospital. Fox News' Melanie Olnwick is live on the scene with the very latest. But first, let's hear what the deputy chief from Howard County had to say. Thank you very much. Uh, Allison and Maureen, uh, I'll take it from you guys right now. We, we just found out from uh, the assistant chief here, Daniel Merson, that one firefighter, the one who we told you about who was injured and transported, he unfortunately has died of his injuries. 13 year veteran of the Howard County Fire Department. So, what happened this morning? Remember, we told you there was a lot of flame and the floors were very weak. Uh, apparently, he was one of the teams that went in early and uh, fell through the floor of the Structure. There was a rapid intervention team there. A mayday was called. That firefighter was located. However, uh, his injuries were very severe, taken to the hospital. And again, uh, the, we're just learning now that that firefighter had succumbed to his injuries. Uh, when we got here on the scene early this morning, uh, we did find it a little strange that no one was giving us an update on that firefighter's condition. Uh, the mood seemed a little uh, uh, subdued. I wasn't sure I saw a group of firefighters uh, together in a circle with their heads bowed, but I didn't want to make too much of it because certainly we, we weren't sure uh, what exactly was going on. And sometimes firefighters are injured, but they, they do uh, turn out okay. Unfortunately, this has been very, very bad. Now a seven alarm fire here in Howard County. Take a look. Uh, it's still steaming uh, so many hours after it was called. Uh, one other thing we wanted to talk about is what may have caused this fire. They're saying now a suspected a lightning strike. I spoke to uh, one of the neighbors here. Uh, they told us uh, that it was really rocking and rolling here overnight last night, just about that time. This is what one of their daughters had to say. Five, ten second crashing sound. I thought a tree fell, but I guess I guess it was lightning or something. Were you scared? Yeah, I was really scared. I I definitely thought like a, a huge tree fell in the woods, like right by our house, but I knew it like didn't hit our house. Um, but it was extremely close. And we also uh, have some picture here for you from our storm tracker radar. Mike Thomas, kind enough to pull up this information for me, uh, showing you the number of lightning strikes uh, hitting right about that time uh, when those neighbors were talking about uh, the terrible storms that came through here. Mike even telling us himself that he, he definitely felt it. He doesn't live too far from uh, this area. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, one firefighter uh, has died here. The three occupants who were in the house. They were able to self evacuate. They got out okay. No injuries there. But this just goes to show you guys uh, how treacherous fighting these fires can be. Sometimes they don't look that bad from the outside, but inside they can be very, very dangerous. We can tell you that uh, Howard County uh, says it will not be releasing any more information about this firefighter, no names or anything, until they can really uh, get together and, and see what they can do for this firefighter's family, a 13 year veteran of the Howard County Fire Department. For now, live in Clarksville, I'm Melanie Olnwick, Fox 5 News. It's tragic. Uh, thank you, Melanie. Time right now.